हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मोमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड विथ स्वे नाउ वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द मोमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग फॉर द मोमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड विथ स्वे नाउ वी हैव टू एनालाइज द स्ट्रक्चर वेन द स्ट्रक्चर अंडर गोज स्वे now what do you mean by sway the frame that are non symmetrical or subjected to non symmetrical loadings have a tendency to side sway okay if a frame are non symmetrical or subjected to non symmetrical loading then that frame has a tendency to side sway what do you mean by side sway if the frame will deflect in the horizontal direction like this by delta amount that frame is said to be undergo a side sway okay now if we want to restrain that type of sway we need to apply a reaction here now by applying a reaction here we had just restricted the sway of this frame here okay now if we just remove this reaction that is r or if we remove the virtual prop force that is r then frame will deflect in the rightward direction like this by an magnitude equals to r that is r dash and that frame is known as subjected to side sway clear to all now that is the frame subjected to sway now what are the conditions in which frame will undergo a sway okay now that conditions are known as unsymmetrical loading if in a frame if the loading is unsymmetrical like this okay i had made a frame here whose support a is fixed and support b is hinged and if this frame is subjected to an unsymmetrical loading like this then the frame will deflect in the rightward direction or it will deflect in the leftward direction depending on the magnitude of load applied on the frame so due to unsymmetrical loading frame will undergo sway now second one is the unsymmetrical geometry if we just put the moment of inertia value as 2i for ac column and i for bd column then due to the thinner section at bd portion frame will deflect towards rightward direction and we call this frame as subjected to sway okay now next one is the different materialistic property of the member if we provide different types of material in the structure then the structure will undergo a sway second is the different end condition now depending on the types of support provided on the frame the frame will have a tendency to go to a sway mechanism okay now in this diagram support a is fixed and support b is hinged now due to hinge support present and present at b frame will undergo a sway in the rightward direction next one is the generation of temperature stresses now due to the generation of temperature stresses the frame will tend to move in a particular direction either in leftward or in rightward then that frame is known as frame subjected to sway and last one is the sinking of support if any of the particular support sinks by an amount delta then the frame then the frame will undergo a type of sway okay then this type of sway is known as sway of frame due to sinking of supports clear to all now we can go for the assumptions that will be used in the moment distribution method with sway now assumptions are same as that of moment distribution method without sway which we had analyzed in the previous lectures okay first with the axial forces and axial deformations are neglected it means that the member tension force as well as the member compression force are neglected in case of moment distribution method now the clockwise moments are taken as positive and the anti clockwise moments are taken as negative similarly the sagging bending moments are taken as positive whereas the hogging bending moments are taken as negative now theorem of superposition can be applied for deflection and loading analysis similarly 
in moment distribution method with sway member cannot fail by buckling it can only fail in bending it means that the member will only fail under bending clear to all now we have to see what will be the moment produced due to the sway suppose that we have constructed a beam here whose support is fixed like this okay now if there will be a sway of delta amount then what will be the moment generated at both the fixed end there will be a moment like this okay there will be a moment like this whose magnitude is equals to 6 ei delta upon l square similarly there will also be a moment acting in this direction whose amount is 6 ei delta upon l square so i had written here moment produced at each member when one end of member is displaced relative to other here the displacement is delta and both ends are fixed now moment is equals to 6 ei delta upon l square at both the ends okay now we need to see the moment produced due to sway in a frame now i had made a frame here that is a b c and d whose support a is fixed and support d is hinge now the member length of ab and cd will be same that is l and the member length of bc will be equals to 1.5 l now i had applied a sway force of s magnitude at joint b in the rightward direction now due to this sway force the frame will deflect in the rightward direction by an amount delta okay now due to this delta deflection the moment will be generated in the column only because the column will be deflected due to this delta sway now the moment that will be produced at joint a will be of 6 ei delta upon l square in the anti clockwise direction similarly at joint b in column ba there will be a moment of 6 ei delta upon l square similarly at joint c in column cd there will be a moment that will be acting in the anti clockwise direction of magnitude 6 ei delta upon l square similarly at joint d there will be a moment of 6 ei delta upon l square that will be acting in the anti clockwise direction now the beam will not undergo any type of movement because there will be no deflection that will be produced in the vertical direction so the beam will not undergo any type of movement clear to all now due to hinge support at d the support will not be able to resist this movement that is 6 ei delta upon l square so we need to create a moment here that will balance this movement that is 6 ei delta upon l square so we had applied a moment of amount 6 ei delta upon l square which will counterbalance this movement that will be acting in the anti clockwise direction so the resultant movement at joint d will be equals to 0 now due to fixed support present at c or due to far end fixed we need to transfer the carry over to the far end that is of half magnitude and in the same direction and it will be equals to 3 ei delta upon l square now the net moment that will be acting at joint c will be equals to the first moment that will be acting like this that is in anti clockwise direction due to sway it will be equals to 6 ei delta upon l square and the second moment that will be carry over from the support d it will be of 3 ei delta upon l square in the clockwise direction so the resultant moment will be acting in the anti clockwise direction of 3 ei delta upon l square that will be the net moment acting at joint c okay students so due to sway we had calculated the moment that will be developed at a b c and d the magnitude of moment at a and b will be equals to 6 ei delta upon l square in anti clockwise direction similarly at c there will be a moment of 3 ei delta upon l square in anti clockwise direction and at d there will be zero moment due to hinge support 
and there will be no movement developed in the beam BC. Now, after finding this movement, we will again repeat the movement distribution method and we will again find the movement in each member of the frame. Now, we had calculated the movement in each of the member of the frame by the sway analysis. That is all about the movement distribution method due to sway. Okay, students. Thank you very much.